Hi there, it's Judith Ann Desjardins in Santa Monica. Little Hope is having an afternoon snack today. And I wanted to show you a blue corn cornmeal cornbread that I made with um, a cup of yogurt, a cup and a half of blue corn flour, a cup of oat flour, two eggs, a cup of, I used goat yogurt because I didn't have any buttermilk today, and a quarter cup of butter melted, a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of baking powder. I think that's about it. I have this new skillet, which I've really fallen in love with. My husband got it, and the size of the sides of it are the sides are tall and this is a 10 inch which is going to give me a larger cornbread than what I've had in the past when I was using the 12 inch skillet. They say that necessity is the mother of invention and I have found that over the course of the last two years dealing with my smaller pancreas. Now I only have 60% of my pancreas. I lost my spleen and eight lymph nodes with my distal pancreatectomy. I have trouble processing food and I definitely uh, am not able to tolerate gluten. So I Essentially, the first two years almost ate no type of bread product, and I find myself now further along the line that I am envying other people being able to eat some kind of baked goods, and so I'm doing more experimentation. Today I added some three type of cheese, Jack, Swiss, and cheddar from Trader Joe's, on top to see what that would do. I think, as I'm touching this, that it is cooked enough. Don't want to overcook cornbread. I think the fact that I added yogurt today may be a good, a good thing. It may make it even more plump and moist than the buttermilk, which is nice and has a sour taste. Well, so does goat yogurt. So I must say that I'm really getting the hang of using my beautiful Forno oven from Montreal. I'm enjoying my backsplash. I'm enjoying my beautiful paintings that I brought back from my trip to Santa Fe this summer. And I'm celebrating life and being alive and trying to come up with new recipes that will excite me and allow me to eat some type of bread product alongside my family who love all different kinds of um, bread and pasta. So I'm sending you love and blessings for people around the world with digestive issues. Cornbread is a great alternative. It's gluten-free. It's hearty, and you, I could easily see putting a small diced chilies in this to give it kind of a quiche flavor. And blessings to you, and thanks for visiting today. Bye-bye.